Well, I'm retired, and I thought this is where you're supposed to go. Michael Rowley and his son Shane moved to this Northport home in April. And, uh, the only bad part is the aliens around here. Yes, you heard correctly, aliens. Me, when I opened that door, it jumped like this. He woke me out of my sleep, and I looked right away, and I saw him. Wings, I haven't seen the wings, but we know he flies. 16-year-old Shane says he's had several extraterrestrial encounters. And he knew I was looking at him. Most through his bedroom window. Kind of show up when they want, and you get used to them. Kind of creepy, though, walking around the woods with those big eyes and stuff. The rallies think they captured one of the eyes on video. Their twilight story has the attention of MUFON, Mutual UFO Network. The group is investigating and wants to set up surveillance. Michael believes they won't show up if there's cameras. This is claws. They go up here. It, it broke in half when I pulled it out of the ground. This plaster footprint is his key evidence. It may be hard to see, but Michael believes the creature has a cloven hoof. About this big. Pure, deep red. It just looked at me for a second. Scary for most people, including this 58-year-old. Michael admits to rarely going out at night, but he believes they come in peace and they're here for a reason. I'm a combat Vietnam veteran and I don't wake up until something good is going on. This is something good. This is something big and good going on, yeah. The family expects another alien encounter during the next full moon. And the neighbor, I gave him a picture of the footprint and he just, Ooh, okay, you know, just like no one believes anything. To the skeptical, Michael says, come to his house for a visit. I didn't believe it at first. So is this Southwest Florida's version of Area 51? Only the trees know for sure. Reporting in Northport, Chad Oliver, NBC2.